Unity is a condition of harmony. It's continuity without deviation. It's identity, integrity, peace. What saddens me is that we live in a time of dividedness. While we strive for inclusion, sometimes I feel like we have exclusion. We wish for unison, but what feels like division. For every one step forward we take, sometimes it feels like we take two steps back. We cannot live in a state of fear, oppression, and discord because, my friends, this is the greatest era to be alive in the history of time. Today, we are seconds away from accessing information. In just a few taps, you can connect with family 10,000 miles away on the other side of the world. The tools that we have democratize our freedom and our lives. Now, I'm not being ignorant to the huge challenges that we see right now in the Middle East and even in our very backyard, but we shouldn't let that stop us from realizing the incredible opportunities that we have right in front of us and reaching for our dreams. After all, pursuing our dreams and creating impact is in our very DNA. Together, we as Arabs represent the most prolific entrepreneurs in the history of civilization. May I remind you of the countless innovations that our Arab ancestors have brought to this world. Whether it be a new innovation in surgery, our best friend from the ninth grade, algebra, or perhaps what is considered by some the most innovative thing that the Arab ancestors have brought for us, something that is now a $50 billion industry, something that half of this room will consume after dinner, ahwe. I'm the son of two proud Syrian parents, the younger brother of a man named Wasim, and the older brother of a beautiful young lady named Cinderella. I grew up in an incredible home with two loving and supporting parents. My parents came here from Damascus three decades ago with essentially nothing. They sacrificed so that I could have the opportunities that they did not have. For example, when I was younger, my parents signed me up for swim lessons so I could learn how to swim. And swim lessons became swim team. And I guess you could say the rest is history because it truly has become an integral part of my life. Today, I'm the CEO of a company called My Swim Pro. And we develop mobile and wearable applications that help people around the world achieve their dreams and swim faster and smarter than ever before. In a sense, we have democratized the sport of swimming to help remove barriers and help people live happier and healthier lives through swimming. We use the power of technology to help people lose weight, cross the finish line at their very first triathlons. To play a small role in this transformative journey is amazing because the stories that we hear from our community are truly inspiring. We believe that everyone including everyone in this room is just one day away from achieving your gold medal moment. And as a company, as a brand, we exist to empower people to achieve their dreams. Syrian Americans are members of a number of different ethnicities and religions, but we all stick together in times of hardship. The geopolitical climate of our region is very uncertain, but as they say, tough times don't last but tough people do. And Syrian Americans are not just tough people, but they are outstanding citizens of this country. I mean, we all know a Syrian doctor, a Syrian engineer, a Syrian business owner. We are builders determined to shape a positive impact in our communities. We are also innovators. And perhaps the greatest inventor of our generation, Steve Jobs, the founder of Apple, the son of a Syrian immigrant. And beyond Steve Jobs, there are countless other entrepreneurs, inventors, creators, and community leaders. As an entrepreneur, I have the amazing opportunity to help transform people's lives. Entrepreneurs have the courage, the audacity, and the determination to bring their ideas to life. I think this feeling holds true to anyone who chooses to forge their own path in life. You have to live in the future and build what's missing. That's a terrifying but incredibly rewarding experience. 
The feeling of creating this impact is immeasurable. It's unexplainable. It's a remarkable feeling. I am proud to be a Syrian American. But we're not just Syrian Americans, or Lebanese Americans, or Jordanian, or Egyptian. No, together, we, all of us, are Arab Americans. And this is something we should be incredibly proud of. We have the power to shape our story. We will lead the next generation to prosperity. Like our ancestors before us, we possess the most innovative genes that will not only create impact, happiness, and also peace. I am proud to be an Arab American. And to all my fellow millennials, or anyone born after the year 2000 in the room, you too should be proud to be an Arab American. The media does not accurately portray the amazing accomplishments that are happening in our community. And I'll tell you something that's not fake news. You too have the power to do anything that you set your mind to. For you see, you have a unique and unfair advantage. The advantage of perspective. A different lens through which you can see the world. It allows you to be more empathetic, creative, and resilient. And I can speak from personal experience that being an Arab American has brought me all of those things and also experience and perspective. It's the ability to always see the glass half full, to believe in the good of others, and perhaps most importantly, being an Arab American allows you to build community. And I'm not doing it alone, because you see, this community, all of you, have empowered me, and you empower each other. You empower each other to dig deeper, to reach further, and to strive for more. You too have been gifted with this incredible opportunity. It's the opportunity of perspective. We are stronger together. We are Arab Americans and together we can be stronger still. Our community embodies the very definition of unity and I am so proud to be here with you tonight as a Syrian American, as an Arab American, to celebrate our unity. Shukran Jazeelah.